Thank you, Colin. Much more coverage tomorrow coming your way. Now let's talk some hoops. 13 days ago, the New Mexico State and New Mexico men's basketball teams met for the first time this season. This man, a uh, Jalen House, torched the Aggies. He dropped 28 points and led UNM to a 106-62 win. Tonight, NMSU is hoping to avoid another bad beat down like that again as it's round two of the Rio Grande rivalry this year. This time at the Pan American Center in Las Cruces. New Mexico State looking to upset a 9-1 New Mexico Lobos team. It was a back and forth contest in the first half. Aggies turn over Nelly Joseph with the slam. Lobos went up as much as six in the first half. Later in the frame, Aggies bounce back. Jalen Jackson posing money from mid range. Aggies down 32 30 at the half. Second half now, Joseph denied at the rim. Lobos still have the ball. This one gets kicked out to, uh, yeah, Jalen House. He hits the three. Lobos' biggest lead of the game was 11 in the second half with 15 minutes to go, but the Aggies weren't going anywhere. It's Rob Carpenter with the three. Aggies take a 66-65 lead. Later on, Brandon Suggs in trouble, kicks this one out to Posey, who drains it from deep. Game tied at 68 now. Less than two minutes to go. Excuse me, later on, it's a Donovan Dent with a masterful layup there. You got to look at it twice because it's so nice. Lobos go up 72-73. Aggies get one more chance to win the game, but it's Posey, who's been great all game with a costly turnover there. And New Mexico walks out of the Pan Am with a 73-72 win over NMSU. Here's Aggies head coach Jason Hooden post game. I was very proud of our effort tonight. I thought when the, we got down 11 and they went on an 11 over run and the thing started to snowball for us, I thought that we did a great job of not catering and fought back and took the lead, and I was very proud of that part. But, you know, I'm just not a moral victory guy. I came here, they gave me this job, they hired me to win and to get this thing turned around, and we, we got to get it turned around. It's another close game loss for the Yaggies, but this one encouraging, showing, show, showing some signs of life. They'll get another chance for a win at Stephen F. Austin on Tuesday. Meanwhile, the Lobos back at home Wednesday against UC Irvine.